All right, so what's up, guys? I just left y'all. I told you that I'm be doing this, um, a little vlog of driving in the Bronx. Actually, let me leave that one so you guys can check it out around here. It is what it is. Uh, me leaving this spot, I know I'm not gonna get it again. And that's the part that sucks ass because I would love to get this parking spot again, but I know I'm not. the tiltiness of the camera you guys uh, as the phone can't really uh, well wait of how the phone holder is unfortunately uh, yeah so I do apologize for the tilty the tilty feel uh, that is totally not my intention but I did kind of rush out the house so I wasn't able to get uh, to grab like my um, the usual holder so usually when I do um, vlogs you guys like when I'm driving or something like that either I would do it with my GoPro or I would do it with my phone and like today I'm doing it with my phone but today is a beautiful nice day though I'm not gonna lie a bit humid but it's high. and windy today. It's alright. I don't know if you guys were able to hear those bells, but there's a church nearby. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie, you guys. One thing about me is that I do love driving. Driving is actually fun for me. It's like a big ass go kart, you know? It shouldn't be probably referenced that way, but that's what a car technically, to me in my eyes, is. It's just a big old car, a big old go kart with signals <laughs> and back up and reverse and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Music, speak, you know, all that good stuff. Right? So. As promised, I shall be taking two routes. Or maybe what I should do, actually, maybe I should make that into a separate thing. Show you uh, what the highway be like around here versus the local way. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let me let me take let me take the highway. Split decision thinking. Woo! Again, you guys, I'm so sorry for the tilting of the, the recording. So my, my phone is at a certain angle, and I tried to make it straight, but it just won't work out that way. And that sound is not from my car, that's from the van next to me. Well, behind me, in a way. So, over here in New York, whenever you, you see that car in front, it has a T and then it has a C at the end. Those would represent New York City cabs. That's what it would represent. Oh no, that little squeaky sounds from the smart car. It's like it from the van. Holy shit. But look at that little smart car go. <laughs> look at that little thing go. That little thing is, 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 is out. <laughs> So 
So what I have, oh man, what I have, it's a Mitsubishi Lancer ES. It's an all right car. It's pretty good on gas without a doubt. And it's big enough where I could have, you know, my family and some of my friends fit in, you know. My circle isn't big like that. You know, if my circle was huge, I would probably need like, let's say like a, a minivan or something, but nah. See, a small car is good for a single person, in my personal opinion. Definitely good for that. Oh, shit. Look at that. That's on the floor right there, you guys. See that? That right there that was on the floor is a big, uh, a big-ass tarp. That could cause some accidents. So if you look on the left side, you guys, this is what I would be stuck with if I was to take the highway coming back home. Luckily, right now, uh, the highway looks pretty good. It doesn't look too, too bad. It doesn't look like anything is flooded. So that's, uh, that's a plus. That's a plus in my book, but damn, look at those clouds though. Look like it's gonna rain anytime soon though, right? How are your highways where you guys are at? Let me know in the comments below. Take this right here, the 4A, you guys, this is the famous Hus Point Market in the Bronx. Uh, this is where, you know, a lot of shippers would come. Oh, this guy cut it. Look at that. Look at this guy cut it. And this is New York City driving. He cut into, let's see, is he going to make that exit or he just, what is he doing? Yeah, so there's a lot of reasons why people uh, from different states don't like driving in New York. This is probably one of them, where people cut in for no good apparent reason. But hey, it is what it is. It's New York City, you know? New York City is like this. I think it's a nice little jump. Woo! All right, nice little bumps right there. See, that's one thing too about New York, man. It doesn't matter if you're on the highway, if you're on the local route, damn, this shit is bad, bro. Come on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Damn, this guy is really taking a sweet buttercup time. Alright, can I cross over? Yes, I can. Nobody deal. I'm safe to cross on the right side. Woo! Let's go. Ah. So cu currently, we are not too far from my wife's job. So as you can see, like, so it's funny because by car, uh, this is what, about almost close to 10 minutes? It's nine minutes and 27 seconds. So with that being said, uh, it only takes about nine minutes and 27 seconds to get over here uh, by the highway, uh, local way, uh, which I'm gonna take coming back home because as you can see the traffic Forget about it. I'll be I'll be stuck there. Oh my goodness! I'll be stuck there for like about 45 minutes to an hour just to get that little distance. So forget that. So just definitely know there's a part two of, of uh, me coming home. <laughs> so at least you guys have an interesting idea. Woo. So one thing over here usually uh, in New York. They would say speed limit is 25, but 
legally you could go 30. You could go five miles above the speed limit here in New York. I don't know how it is over there for you guys, but over here, yeah. So you would have rarely people actually going 25 miles an hour. You would see a lot of people really going 30 miles an hour. Uh, if you can see to the left, that's the New York City bus. They look pretty cool. <laughs> So this area over here is like uh, mainly like uh, West Indian based community, which is pretty cool. somebody who would signal like them going to the left like last minute so you would have all these people behind you waiting waiting to pass you but they can't because you know you made it left <laughs> damn i wish you guys could see the car that's right there next to me on the right the whole bumper is gone looks like it got into a badass accident and that's a new toyota man that's one of the newer models you could tell it's like at least maybe 2015 2016 uh, that car is from Pennsylvania. It feels kind of bad. So for me, I gotta wait till till this truck goes. So that way, I have the visibility to see. See what I'm saying? Over here in New York, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. It's really kind of crazy. I see the visibility. I'm good. That's how you gotta drive over here in New York, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you gotta drive. New York is very fast paced. They don't really wait for you. So if uh, if it was let's say if it was up to me, I would rather wait till I till I finish. Um, you know, till I could have the visibility to see perfectly 100%. But yours doesn't work out that way. You'll be you'll be waiting there for days. Of course, exaggeration, but in New York, it, it's kind of like a. Um, sometimes you just gotta take a risk, whether it be a dangerous one, a safe one. It's all a risk. It sucks, but that's how it is. So yeah, you guys, it's 13 minutes into the video. And technically we're here. I will be actually uploading this once I actually have the opportunity to find parking. Once you have the opportunity to find parking, I will be uploading this on YouTube. Oh, there's actually a lot of parking. That's that's quite awesome. There's a shitload of parking actually. Uh, we got a nice little stop sign. We get here. And here we go. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this little vlog. I'm not gonna go over there because... So I'm backing up. Just trying to give enough room for these cars to go. <laughs> and then we good money right here, right underneath this beautiful tree. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for those who have stayed tuned all this way. 14 minute or 15 minute video. I thank you guys so much. I will be making a part two of me actually going home the local way. You guys stay safe always. I'll catch you tomorrow on the live stream.